Hello. Thank you for joining me today for this session on applying to Trinity College as a mature student. My name is Claude Byrne and I'm the mature student officer in Trinity College. This presentation today will focus on why study in Trinity College as a mature student. We'll give you an overview of the courses and the specific requirements for mature applicants. We'll give you an overview of the application process for mature applicants. We'll outline some of the student supports you could avail of should you study as a mature student here with us in Trinity and point you in the direction of some events that might help you in preparation for your application. So why study in Trinity College Dublin? Well Trinity prides itself in its diverse and inclusive campus and its diverse student population and mature students make up part of that diverse student population and we're very proud of that. We're also very proud of Trinity's student experience and there are lots of extracurricular activities, clubs and societies to get involved in. We encourage all of our students to get involved in those and we have a very vibrant, mature student society. We have an excellent education here in Trinity in terms of research and education. We provide fantastic career opportunities and great progression into the world of work for, for mature students who are interested in, in, in improving their job prospects. We also have a number of mature students every year who are fulfilling lifelong ambitions to get, get a degree and all applications are welcome. We have excellent student supports and I'll outline some of those to you later on in the presentation. So in Trinity there are three main faculties, the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, Engineering, Maths and Science and Health Sciences. And there are places reserved for mature students in all of our undergraduate programmes in the three faculties above. Mature applicants can apply for up to three courses, three level eight courses on their CAO and most have no formal requirements. So it's a very holistic process looking at experience, previous education, etc. So there, for most, again, there are no formal requirements. There are some exceptions, of course, to this and they can be found on page six of the Mature Student Guidelines, which is available on our website. I'll give you the address for that later on. Please do consult this booklet before making an application. So in addition to a number of exceptions, there are some specific assessments. Psychology, for example, requires applicants to take an aptitude test. Engineering requires that students have higher level mathematics or equivalent and maths for STEM is deemed to be equivalent to higher leaving cert maths for mature entry purposes. So again, have a look at page six of the mature student guidelines for more details on those specific, specific assessments and exceptions. Applications are shortlisted based on the application form. So there's an application form that is sent to Trinity College directly. Um, it is reviewed by, by academics and shortlisting takes place on the basis of that application form and interviews then are held between March, April and May time. Applicants are usually notified by Trinity by the end of May whether or not their application has been successful. If students are being offered a place they will get a notification from the CAO in early July. At the end of July then, once we have a list of the students who have accepted their places in college, we run a getting organised seminar. So this focuses on um, internal supports in the college, the disability service, the senior tutors office, and also external, so Susie, back to education and so on. This is really important in preparing students for starting college. We want the students to hit the ground running, have all of their um, finances sorted out before they start so that they can start with us at orientation in August time. An orientation is voluntary, but it's highly recommended that students attend. It's an opportunity to meet staff, to meet other students and to get settled in before the start of the academic term. So I'm just popping up some courses here in the arts, humanities. And just to say that for all of the courses here, there are, there are no formal requirements. So you do not have to have specific leaving search subjects or leaving cert points, but you would have to have recent and relevant education. I think that's really important. They're not that they will not be considering your your uh, school exams and results. Indeed, some people studying in Trinity wouldn't have any formal as a mature student wouldn't have any formal education, but they will be particularly interested when the academics are reviewing your application to have a look and see 
have you got any recent and relevant education? So that's what they would be looking for in terms of the arts and humanities. And there are great opportunities here to study as a mature student. The social sciences are incredibly popular, um, particularly social work. Um, and for social work, again, the recent and relevant education is important. But social work also looks for related work experience, and that can be either paid or voluntary. So it's important to bear that in mind when you're filling out your application form. We have a joint honours programme here. I suppose this would be the equivalent of arts programmes in other universities. But the difference is you have to select your subjects at the time of application. So have a look at the grid chart in the prospectus and identify the subjects that you wish to apply for. And just bear in mind that you're applying for those two courses. So your application form will have to reflect. So for example, if you're applying for English and history, your application form would have to reflect your interest in history and your interest in English. And your application form will be read by the School of English and by the School of History and, Hum and Humanities as well. In terms of the engineering and computer science programmes, I've mentioned already that engineering requires higher level mathematics, so that is really important. Your application will not be considered unless you, you present with that or equivalent. So the equivalent is important if you haven't studied higher leaving certain maths. Maybe you've studied maths as part of a, of a different programme or maybe you've got maths for STEM in further education. Uh, but maths is a requirement, so just bear that in mind when you're making your application. In terms of the sciences, there are no formal requirements for entrance to the science programmes. But again, recent and relevant education and a good solid science background to build upon would be very, very important. The health sciences, as with all of our professional programmes, are incredibly popular with mature students. Um, and again, have a look at our guidelines booklet, page six, for um, any specific requirements. Medicine does have, a, have specific requirements, so please have a look at that for the guidelines booklet for the most up-to-date information on, on, on those. Again, for the professional qualifications, you're looking at work experience. So it's, as I said, it's a very holistic approach. We're looking at your previous education, your previous experience, your work experience. It all combines to make up your application. But for the health sciences, recent and relevant education plus um, recent and relevant work experience, either paid or voluntary, would be important to your application, would significantly enhance uh, your application. So just bear that in mind. I want to focus now on some of the student supports that, that uh, you could avail of should you take up a mature student place with us here in the university. My role as the mature student officer is to promote the benefits and the opportunities available to prospective mature students in Trinity, but it's also to, to facilitate the progression into the university and transition into college life. So we do that in a number of ways. I've mentioned our Getting Organised seminar and our orientation programme, but we run a number of events during the year in conjunction with the Mature Student Society uh, to help people to integrate into college life. But in general, that works very, very well seamlessly uh, for some students. Every student who enters Trinity is allocated a personal tutor. A personal tutor is your academic advocate during your time in the university and they play a really, really important role. They can offer professional, uh, per, uh, personal and um, academic advice to you during your time in college. So it's a really, really fantastic resource and um, tutors volunteer their time. They volunteer to opt in. So they provide their really student focused, provide wonderful assistance to students during their time. We also have students who volunteer as mentors. So we have a student to student programme. We have mature mentors and we have course mentors. So you can link in with somebody doing your course or another mature student for any advice and information you might need along the way. We have a health centre on campus um, and consultations are free should you uh, need them for, for students. We have a creche on campus and students get priority in that creche. We have a career service for those of you who are interested in upskilling and reskilling and moving into the world of, of employment. You can link in with the career service from very early on to enhance those prospects. We have a lot of academic supports available. Oftentimes, mature students worry about their ability to perform academically. If you've been offered a place in the university, it is because the, the academics assessing your application believe that you have the, the ability to do so. But should you need some supports along the way, they are certainly there. In terms of academic supports, we have a maths help desk for people who are doing maths as part of their programme. We have a writing resource centre for students who are um, maybe in the arts, humanities and social sciences, writing essays and assignments and dissertations, etc. And those services are one to one. So you pr 
being provided with it with one to one support in maths and writing. The learning development unit based in, st in student counselling provides a fantastic array of supports to you and to students throughout the academic year. Lots of online courses that students can engage with timely interventions such as study skills, managing your time, settling into college, but also one to one advice in terms of getting on top of the academics. So do not worry about um, supports in terms of academics. If you need it, it will be there. We have our students union, which provides a tremendous amount of support to, to the student population. We, and on the students union, we have a part time mature student officer and a part time student parent officer. So we're, we're delighted with that. And they they link in with me and we, and we provide um, support to students and also engagement in terms of you know, social aspect of college life as well. College and the social aspect in college societies is a really important part of Trinity and that Trinity experience that I mentioned early on. So we would encourage mature students to get involved in college life and often mature students treat their college um, work like a job. And that's great because they have lots of commitments outside of of the university. But if you can, when you engage in, in, in higher education, please do get involved in college life because the more you give, the more you will get. And, you know, we want you to leave with a really having had a really good experience as well as leaving with an excellent degree. So should you wish to apply to Trinity as a mature student, there are two application forms that you must complete. One, the CAO form, which needs to be completed by the 1st of February. You also have to complete an online Trinity supplementary application form, and that is by the 1st of February also. And it is on the basis of this application form that students are shortlisted and those interviews take place. Please see the Trinity Prospectus for information on, on making an application and please consult the Mature Student Guidelines booklet on the Mature Student website. It will run through page by page that application form and give you advice and information on making an application to Trinity as a mature student. The application form is your stepping stone to an interview. So course research is vital. The academics reading your application have to want to know that you know exactly what the course is about, that it is the course for you and that you've given it good consideration. So please do undertake that research before you submit your application. There's no benefit to getting that application form in early. We will only assess them after the 1st of February deadline. So take the time to make sure you're, you're, you're submitting an excellent application that reflects the depth and breadth of your experience as a, as a mature student. Nursing students apply to the CAO only, so there's no requirement for them to submit that TCD supplementary application form. There is an assessment test for mature uh, nursing students and it is on the basis of how you perform in that test that, that offers are made. So just to be aware of that. We will be running a number of events over the course of the next few months and particularly for College Awareness Week in November. But there's one application seminar in January that if you are planning on applying as a mature student, I think it's important that you attend. It will be online this year on the 7th of January from 5 to 6 p.m. More details will be available on the Mature Student website, as will other activities for College Awareness Week. So please link in there and um, we will point you in the right direction of an event that might help you to uh, make your application or might help you to provide you with information uh, upon which course to, to apply for. So we look forward to your participation in our upcoming events. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you for um, engaging with this online presentation today and to ask you to consult our website and do contact us if we can be of any assistance to you whatsoever in terms of making your application. So thank you very much.